Daniel and Claire each deposit $10,000 in high-interest savings accounts. However, the bank that Daniel has deposited his money at offers only simple interest while the bank that Claire has deposited her money at offers compound interest. After the first year, both Daniel and Claire made $500 or 5% on their initial deposit. However, for all subsequent years, the next year Claire's earn 5% on both her principal as well as on the interest that she earned in year 1 rather than 5% on only her principal deposit of $10,000. With this in mind, Claire will earn $525 in year 2 bringing her total capital to $11,025. Meanwhile, Daniel will earn only $500 in year 2, bringing his total capital to $11,000. So, after year 2, Claire has made $25 more than Daniel all without lifting a finger. In year 3, Daniel will once again make $500 of his principal investment of $10,000 bringing his total capital to $11,500. Claire on the other hand, will make 5% of $11,025 in year 3 for annual return $551.25, bringing her total capital to $11,576.25. After only 2 years, Claire has made $76.25 more than Daniel all due to compound interest. The effects of compound interest are even more profound when we compare Daniel and Claire's return on investment over a four-year horizon, with Claire's annual return climbing from $500 all the way to approximately $578. So, what's going on here? Why Claire's interest increased more than Daniel interest even though they have the same principal amount of money they deposit? How?